Good evening. Welcome to evening prayer at the end of a sunny spring day. We've waited for days like these. The theme of this evening's service is how the resurrection of Jesus was brought about by love and how the only logical response to it is love. There's some readings this evening that uh, from books which might be unfamiliar to you, so I thought I'd tell you a bit about them. The Galatian Sacramentary is a book from uh, about 750 from Italy, and it's the first book we have which tells us what words priests were to say during a service of worship. And so the words we're going to be saying are extremely old and my goodness, they're magnificent. And the other person you might not have heard of is Hippolytus of Rome, who was a very significant Christian writer at the beginning of the third century. And uh, nobody knows much about him. I don't even know whether he came from Rome, but it doesn't matter because his words will make your heart sing. As always, there's some music and silence in the middle of the service, and then I'll be back to lead us in prayer after that. And there'll be words for us all to join in. I'll guide you through them. Do please say them out loud, even if you're by yourself in your own home, because that will give us a sense that we are together uh, in God's presence this evening. I'm going to light the candle and then we'll settle ourselves and we'll begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. These words of praise come from the Galatian Sacramentary. O oh God, who by thy only begotten Son hast overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life, grant, we beseech thee, that those who have been redeemed by his passion may rejoice in his resurrection through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And this prayer is by Hippolytus of Rome. Christ is risen. The world below lies desolate. Christ is risen. The spirits of evil are fallen. Christ is risen. The angels of God are rejoicing. Christ is risen. The tombs of the dead are empty. Christ is risen indeed from the dead, the first of the sleepers. Glory and power are his 
forever and ever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 63, and this is where you join in. After each line, we say together, earnestly, I seek you. Earnestly, I seek you. You, God, are my God. Earnestly, I seek you. I thirst for you, my whole being longs for you. Earnestly I seek you. In a dry and parched land where there is no water, earnestly I seek you. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and glory. Earnestly I seek you. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. Earnestly, I seek you. I will praise you as long as I live. In your name, I will lift up my hands. Earnestly, I seek you. I will be satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. Earnestly, I seek you. On my bed, I will remember you. I will think of you through the watches of the night. Earnestly, I seek you. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. Earnestly, I seek you. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. Earnestly, I seek you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. For our meditation, we have the poem Easter, which is by Edmund Spencer, the English 16th century poet. Most glorious Lord of life, that on this day didst make your triumph over death and sin, and having harrowed hell, didst bring away captivity, thence captive, us to win. This joyous day, dear Lord, with joy begin, and grant that we, for whom thou didst once die, being with your dear blood, cleansed, washed from sin, may live forever in felicity. And that your love, we weighing worthily, may likewise love thee for the same again, and for your sake that all like dear didst buy, with love may one another entertain. So let us love, dear love, like as we ought. Love is the lesson which our Lord hath taught.
And now our Bible reading. And this evening it comes from 1 Peter chapter 1. Jesus Christ was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him. And so your faith and hope are in God. Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth, so that you have sincere love for one another, love one another deeply from the heart, for you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. And before our music and silence, a prayer. Love is the lesson that the Lord has taught. Help us, Lord God, to learn what you would teach us. That love and love only is the meaning of the resurrection of Jesus. Love that is stronger than death. Love that casts out all fear. Love that is the only possible response to the life of the one who first loved us and gave himself for us. Amen. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless his holy name.
Our prayers this evening are a litany from the Book of Common Prayer. A litany is a very long list of very short prayers. And uh, the line for us all to join in in this litany is, We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. So let us pray. that it may please you to keep and strengthen in the true worshipping of you, in righteousness and holiness of life, your servant Elizabeth, our most gracious Queen. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to rule the hearts of her government, that it may evermore seek your honour and glory and guide our nation in the ways of justice. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to drive corruption from our land, that we may evermore pursue the ways of righteousness and live without the burden of need. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to illuminate all bishops, priests and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of your word, and that both by their preaching and living they may set forth and show it accordingly. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to bless and keep the judges and lawyers, giving them grace to execute justice and to maintain truth. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord that it may please you to give to all nations unity, peace and concord. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. 
that it may please you to give us a heart to love and serve you and diligently obey your commandments. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to bring into the way of truth all such as have erred and are deceived. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to strengthen such as do stand and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and to raise up them that fall and finally to beat down Satan under our feet. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to succour, help and comfort all that are in danger, hunger and tribulation. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to preserve all who are separated from those whom they love, all women labouring of child, all sick persons and young children, and to show your pity upon all prisoners and captives. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to defend and provide for the fatherless children and widows and all that are desolate and oppressed. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord that it may please you to protect us from lightning and tempest, from plague, pestilence and hunger, from battle and murder and from sudden death. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord, that it may please you to have mercy upon all people. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. Amen. We say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the collect for today, the fourth Sunday in Easter. Risen Christ, faithful shepherd of your father's sheep, Teach us to hear your voice and to follow your command that all your people may be gathered into one flock to the glory of God the Father. Amen. And some words. To close. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to us who believe 
the gates of everlasting life. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give us joy as we share the Easter faith. Amen. God the Holy Spirit, whom the risen Lord breathed into his disciples, empower us and fill us with Christ's peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with us through the long hours of this night and the opportunities of a new week. And bless all those whom we love forevermore. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for evening prayer tonight. The next service of evening prayer is on Sunday the 9th of May and it'll be led by Vaughan Pomeroy, he of the musical voice and the moving prayers. Please join us again then. Good night.